When the Minnesota Fighting Vikings uh, released stud linebacker Eric Hendricks a couple weeks ago, it was seen as it sort of is what it is spot. All right, so Kendricks obviously gave his heart and soul to this team uh, as getting up there in age, as well as uh, the Vikings releasing him allowed him to go back home uh, for a couple seasons, signing up a two-year deal with the Los Angeles Chargers. So it, it was a good parting, but still kind of sucked uh, for a guy who given a, a lot uh, to the Purple throughout his career. And he penned a very nice uh, piece over at the Players Tribune as a goodbye to Minnesota and want to run through a couple excerpts. Uh, so this is Kendrick's quote, every time I put my arms around my wife, Allie, and I feel our little boy kicking, doing his thing. I think of the future. He's doing May and we can't wait to meet him. He's going to grow up in California. And when he's old enough, I'll show him all the things I used to do when I was young there. I'll take him by UCLA campus and tell him about how dad used to ball out as a Bruin. Woo. Uh, we'll go to Inglewood up to no good. I'll let him see where dad plays for the Chargers. And mom and I will take him to the beach, let him roll around the sand. But I know no matter how much California there is inside him, there will always be, always be some Minnesota in him. Because there's a whole lot in his dad, a whole lot always will be. <sighs> They hit me right in the feels, man. Man, Minnesota, I love you all so much. I just want to say thanks real quick, if you don't mind. Uh, it doesn't quite seem real. I won't be suiting up in that purple and gold next season. I'm going to miss a lot about being a Viking. I can't lie. Playing for you guys is all I've ever really known. Your family, simple as that. And we have some great times. Uh, I've been thinking about them a lot these past couple weeks. And the thing, uh, and the thing that really sticks out to me, uh, everything was so fun. It was just fun to play for all of you. And he goes into a lot of stories of like working with the Zims in training camp when he was a rookie. And then, uh, of course, uh, big love to Chad Greenway, Anthony Barr. It was great. Uh, then he talked about food. Uh, I got to know the city with my belly. Uh, Allie's a big foodie, so we go around town finding our favorite spots to eat. A shout out, Bar La Grassa. Fantastic spot. Spoon and Stable, also good Zen box. Uh, insanely good ramen, perfect for a cold day. People will come up to us from time to time, uh, and they always kept it real. Nothing crazy, just, hey, man, great game. Beat the pack this week. See you Sunday. Uh, it was always love, always love. Getting to know so many of you, uh, getting to see your loyalty. It's why I wanted to leave a mark in the community off the field. And he talked about his off-the-field initiatives where you know, Kendricks was very involved uh, with the with, with the Minnesota and Twin Cities community. Uh, so that's a community that Minnesota has. That's what makes saying goodbye so tough. Uh, I'm going to miss coming to work every day and being with family. Thank you to all the coaches that helped me become the player I am today. Thank you to the equipment staff, Dennis, Terrell. Terrell, shout out. Woo. Uh, Adam, all those guys uh, for working extensive hours. To the men and women who kept me healthy between games, I appreciate you all so much. And to the Viking staff, Thank you. I'll forever remember the teammates who embody what it meant to be a Viking. Guys like Harrison Smith, uh, Daniel Hunter, Everson Griffin, Eric Wilson, uh, Jordan Hicks, uh, Anthony, uh, Anthony Barr, er, Linval Joseph, Chad Greenway, and others. Uh, Minnesota has had some real ones. And to Vikings fans everywhere, thank you for being you. You're loud as hell. You made me feel 10 feet tall every time I stepped onto that field. The skull chant added another 10 feet. And when I pulled down that jersey, I felt all of you. I really did. Uh, you're loyal. Uh, you're devoted, you're you, and you let me be me. I hope no matter where you sat or whatever TV you watched, you could see my hat and you could see the passion I played with and you could see how much I love being a Viking, Eric Hendricks. And that was it's phenomenal, man. Like, And, and Kendricks, you know, he was born, uh, he was an L.A. guy, played in UCLA, came here as a second-round pick, and it became his home. It, it really did. You know, for the better part of a decade. And, you know, Kendricks was one of those players where you could tell, like, win, lose, or draw. Like, he was given it everything that he, he he had. And that's something that fans respect, and that's something that Eric Kendricks brought every single time. So I'm glad that the bond ran deep in both directions uh, with Kendricks and the great state of Minnesota. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Eric Kendricks pens a very touching goodbye uh, to Minnesota and Vikings fans in the Players' Tribune. Let us know your thoughts or our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull, production value.